Hi, YouTube, Reddit, wherever else I post this. Not Papa Emeritus here. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at this BKS Euro Cylinder. Uh, this is my first Euro Cylinder, and it's a direct German import. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's no North American sellers. So I had to buy this off a seller from Germany on eBay. Uh, there's also no documentation in English uh, since as far as I know, they don't sell outside of Germany. Um, all the reference and documentation is in German. So that made uh, navigating everything a little bit difficult, but uh, I managed it and it's worth it. This lock is really, really cool. Um, for starters, there is a huge keyway. If I can get this to focus here, uh, you can see that that's a barn door uh, compared to, I'll just grab I don't know, I have a Master 150 over here. Um, the Master Keyway is a little bit small. I'll flip that upside down too. Uh, master Keyway is a little bit small. It's a little tight. But as you can see, huge difference. Uh, and that Keyway, or this Keyway rather, uh, gives a little bit of ease in, in some departments and makes it a little more challenging in others. Um, as a pro, you have a lot more space uh, to work around with uh, using your pick, uh, but it's also a lot more difficult at tension. Uh, normally with this kind of lock, I would use a, um, a pry bar, a uh, top of the keyway sort of deal, but if it's this big, uh, I'm going to have to use bottom of the keyway, and I'm going to be picking this upside down, so I'm just going to be doing something like this. Um, it, it just it's more comfortable for me and it's easier for picking especially because I don't have a vice um, but onto the keys obviously with a monstrous keyway you have a monstrous key uh, and you can see this bad boy uh, this is some sort of nickel silver alloy from what I could translate and there's this cool little ball thing in here, which I believe is just a BKS, um, kind of their signature. And this is also the only double-sided key I've ever seen. You can see there's one sort of copy, I guess, here. And if you flip it over, there's the same bedding on the other side. And both work for unlocking. There's one side, and if I flip it around, uh, there's the other. And I'm not quite sure what the market is. Maybe if you're like coming home drunk one night and you don't know which way is up on your key, uh, you can get another way. I don't know. It's it's probably something better than that. Uh, regardless, cool mechanism. Um, I'm glad to see it, that it, it works well. Um, and it also, I guess it solves the whole like USB paradox. You know, like when you try and plug it in one way, it doesn't work. So you flip it around and that doesn't work either. And then the first way works when you try that again. Um, but if we take a look at the key again, there's two sort of zones, if you will, uh, of the bidding. If I can make it focus, please. There we go. So you can see there's this sort of recessed zone here that goes almost the entire way through the key. And then there's this raised zone, and that, that's for the first two pins, so those would be taller inside the lock. Um, and I believe that protects pins 3, 4, and 5, uh, 5 pin lock by the way. I believe it protects those from picking, obviously it's not going to do it uh, forever, it's a deterrent, not really a solution, or an anti-pick mechanism. Um, but then this raised bidding, um, they're shorter pins guarded by that, uh, so I assume, and they're very thin. They're only about, I'd say a third of the way, uh, across the key. And they are very good at catching picks. Uh, it's very annoying. I almost broke my, um, high reach and this, um, what is this? This is my offset hybrid. I almost broke those. Uh, trying to single pin pick this lock, uh, I can rake it just fine, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, 
but I'm, I'm not going to be trying to single pin pick that anytime soon unless I just have some cheap like DIY throwaway picks. Um, I'm also not going to be gutting this lock because as far as I can tell, there are no videos, uh, no pictures, or no documentation in German or English of this lock ever being gutted. And I tried getting these uh, sea hasps off earlier and it sort of seized up the entire thing. So I'm not gonna be doing that for fear of breaking my shiny new lock. Um, but yeah, let's get on to picking it. So as I said earlier, I'm gonna be using or I'm gonna be flipping it upside down because obviously the keyway would normally be like that. So I'm gonna be flipping it upside down and using uh, bottom of the keyway, and this is my thickest, I believe, uh, bottom wrench, please focus, there we go. And uh, honestly, um, raking is, is an overstatement. Uh, I think Bosnian Bill called it zipping. Uh, that's more of what I'm gonna be doing, but it seems to work the best, and there we go. That was two, three tries, and we are open. Focus. There we go. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.